watching at home with Zane and today I'm going to share with you a really simplistic, um, extremely easy to make glass um, hurricane votive candle holder. Um, so I went on a look, a search for a really small um, but yet elegant glass or crystal candle holder and I couldn't find anything in any of the high-end retailers or um, my normal go-to's that was going to fit uh, well where I wanted to use it. So I came up with a few different pieces um, to create my own. And so this is so easy. There's absolutely nothing to it. It is very inexpensive. Um, but the pieces that I'm going to show you, if you want to get this exact look, you want to make sure to get very similar, if not the same pieces. So first off, I have this um, glass pillar candle stand. And so they are selling these right now at Home Goods. They are $2.99. Um, they have a really large ball in the center and then they're flat on the top and they're also flat on the bottom. That is really going to be important um, that you make sure that you have something that is flat and typically pillar candle holders are going to have the width that, that you're looking for and that you're going to need for this particular um, hurricane uh, candle holder. So I had purchased two of these. And then you want to get two stemless wine glasses. And so I found a box of four. Um, I did a DIY previously where I found them. And so I ran back and got some more. Um, they have a box of four of these at Target and they were around $4. And then you want to get um, the, a glass votive. And so you want to make sure that the votive comes in its own glass contained um, holder, not just a plain votive. Um, because for one, it's going to keep the inside of your glass clean. And for two, it really bumps up the look um, and makes it look a little more high end and upscale um, once we put the pieces together. So I know that it's easy to take a, a vase or a glass and glue it to the bottom of a candle stand. Um, you see it frequently. I've done it myself. It is a really pretty look. But with this, I didn't want to make this permanent. I wanted to be able to detach the pieces and use them for something else. So what I've done is I've taken one of my bottom uh, pillar candle glass holders here and just absolutely simply set my wine glass on top. Then I'm going to drop in my Votive. I want to do it gently here so I don't break anything. And basically now what I've done is I've taken a really simple um, glass bottom and the hurricane uh, created top out of a wine glass. But then by dropping in the votive encased in its own glass has just given it a little bit more of an upscale look. This is absolutely perfect if you're looking for something for a smaller size. Not everyone needs or wants a really large giant hurricane, um, but you could certainly do the same um, concept on a larger scale. But I wanted something that was simpler, so I decided to do this. And so again, I just simply took my um, stemless wine glass, set it on top, dropped inside, my votive, and now I have a pair of really elegant, um, I've, I've actually seen very similar pieces in some of the high-end retailer catalogs, and just by simply creating a uh, sort of the wine glass top and then uh, the insert in the middle with the glass casing of the votive, um, and then of course the bottoms, they're very, very pretty as well. So whatever bottom you use, um, the stemless wine glass is gonna give you more of this hurricane type look. And then of course, if you um, drop in the votive, you wanna make sure that that's in a glass holder and you're gonna have a really elegant, really simplistic um, candle hurricane for any occasion, but I plan to use mine for fall. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. Leave your comments below. Uh, we'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love.